closure to our families is not an option until we have the answers and hold those responsible accountable. And these Uvalde family members say part of that accountability means asking the man in charge of the Texas Department of Public Safety to resign. It's been five months since 19 students and two teachers were killed inside Robb Elementary. Yeah, this morning there's even more outrage after a face-to-face -face meeting between families of the victims and state law enforcement. I want to say good morning to Tiffany Liu, who's in our newsroom this morning live. Tiffany, the DPS chief isn't giving those families the answers they're asking for. Yeah, Mark Kara, this was the first time families came face to face with DPS Director Steve McCraw and they did not filter how they were feeling yesterday. Parents say law enforcement failed them in Uvalde. They wake up every day thinking of the 77 minutes officers waited outside while children and teachers were inside the classroom with the shooter. Not only families, but State Senator Roland Gutierrez testified at the Texas Public Safety Commission meeting yesterday. They strongly believe more lives could have been saved if troopers acted faster. 91 state troopers were at Robb Elementary that day. The first ones arrived within 10 minutes, yet none of them entered the classrooms to stop the shooter. Over and over again at the meeting, family members demanded McCraw to resign, not only for failure to lead on May 24th, but for failure to tell the truth in the aftermath. You know, if DPS as an institution failed the families, failed the school, or failed okay, the community of Uvalde, then absolutely, I need to go. But I can tell you this right now, DPS as an institution, okay, right now, is did not fail the community, plain and simple. Now only one DPS trooper has been fired. McCraw promises a complete investigation by the end of the year to hold officers responsible for their actions, but that is simply not enough for these families. Mark, let's send it over to you. Okay, Tiffany, thank you for those updates this morning.